तो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द न्यू डे एंड न्यू ब्लॉग एंड टूडे वी हैव विद अस तेजस एंड सोहम हेलो फ्रॉम सीवीटी ब्रांच एंड आई थॉट दैट इन द प्रीवियस वीडियोस वी डिस्कस अबाउट द कंप्यूटर साइंस करिकुलम एंड हाउ द कोर्स स्ट्रक्चर द जनरल कोर्स स्ट्रक्चर लुक्स लाइक एंड टूडे आई थॉट दैट वील डिस्कस अबाउट द सीवीटी करिकुलम सो वट इज द फुल फॉर्म ऑफ सीवीटी CVT stands for <laughs> Commercial Vehicle Technology. Yeah. It is an interdisciplinary course. Yeah. Which consists of four branches mainly. Four branches. Yes. Yeah, Me- mechanical yeah. engineering, computer science, electrical engineering, yeah. and business. Oh, so so means these are the major or minor branches, or each one has equal weightage. Almost equal weightage. And you have to take the subjects from all of these branches. Yes. Yes. Okay. So. If we start from the uh, general structure, so like as you guys are in the second semester, mm-hmm. so is there any fixed curriculum? If I say that these many minimum credits you have to cover in a particular semester, or no, no there is no limit of covering uh, certain credits mm-hmm. for every semester. It's totally up to the student. Mm-hmm. However, uh, there is uh, some limit to the number of credits for. different sections mm. in our course for example uh, a student needs to complete 6 credits mm. for the mechanical engineering mm. courses uh, as well as computer as well as computer science uh, okay so these are the mandatory like these minimum credits the student has to complete yeah. from these courses yeah. means man complete in the sense we have to ele- opt for elective subjects or correct correct six but you have credits. to cover these credits right yes you cannot opt that i will not take six credit from computer science you cannot no, choose that you no, have no. to take six credits from computer yes. science yes minimum six minimum six and do you, do you have also any upper limit or you can take as many as you can upper limit in the sense if we complete six credits then if we want to study more subjects then we can opt them as shine Shine. Or just shine means as certificate only but, for certificate. But they don't count towards the credits of your mm. course. Mm. So yes, like if a student is interested to learn something new mm. apart from what the course offers, he can choose this subject. Okay, but uh, the exams occur or not for these subjects? Yeah, there are there, there is exam. Yeah. Uh, you have to do exam in order to uh, get it into your. transcript record mm mm-hmm. so you have to give the exam however it's not compulsory okay. because it it is anyways not included in your uh, syllabus okay so but that it means that the pointers also do not count no 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 for this certificate oh certificate. so for shine shine means supplement right yes. and for yeah. supplements your uh, uh these pointers doesn't count in the no uh, final grade no, final grade no. Ah, uh, okay. I think that is one of the important points as well. However, the grade as well as the status of whether the subject is passed or failed mm-hmm. uh, is, I think, it comes in our transcript. Mm-hmm. And there is an option whether you want the grade on your transcript or the status of passing or failing. Okay. Mm-hmm. So it means it should. It might show that you have passed or not that subject. Yeah, yeah. depends on us. That depends. If we want to. Ah, the, you can also choose that that yeah, if you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that if you want to show that you have passed or yeah, not. Yeah, because no, that, no, no, no. Passed, we have to show because if we have passed, then we will definitely show that. Yeah. But the po- pointer, I mean. Okay. Be- because anyways, it is up to us if we yeah. want our transcripts to display our pointer, then we yeah. can. Otherwise, no. Okay. This is only applicable for the subjects that are not included in our curriculum. So mm. this goes only for the shine subjects. Shine subjects. Okay. And like like we were discussing also that six credit subjects, right? Six yes. credit you take from computer science. Yes. Then six credit you take from mechanical. 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 Any other branch as well or from nine the... nine credits from electrical engineering branch uh-huh. and nine, nine credits, credits from business. business. Oh wow! So means mechanical. Business and electrical, yes. nine nine credits. Nine nine credits. And apart from that, you have to take CVT courses as well. Yeah, it's there yeah. are some courses which are mandatory, mandatory which you cannot skip. Yeah. Ah, uh, this the credit numbers which we just talked about for the four branches. The courses are up to us whether we should, ah, uh, 
I mean, whichever course that we want to select, it's up to mm-hmm. us. Mm-hmm. Only for those four branches. Uh, but you have to complete the number of credits in those respective branches. Got it. Min- minimum these many credits should be there. Correct, correct, correct. Like nine, nine, six, and six, six, six. like this. Yeah. So minimum these credits from other branches. Yes. Now after that, uh, so in CVT courses like main, mm-hmm. you also like for me, like for uh, us, there is like from six subjects we have to take one computer science theory subject, one fundamental subjects from. Uh, the mm-hmm. some of the options of the subject so for you as well there are some mandatory subjects like you have these choices and you have to take any one out of them yeah there are a set of subjects which are mandatory so you don't you have to complete them you cannot skip them so the these courses are as well as interdisciplinary so some courses are from mechanical some are mm-hmm. from computers electrical etc mm-hmm. and these are mandatory so you have to complete them Mm-hmm. So and you have this thing as well that uh, fundamental subject or theory subject no or you have just CVT uh, fixed uh, means some of the subjects like as you told like the fixed subjects are there mm-hmm. but it's not like that that eight credit from fundamental you have to take eight no. credit from compute from theory you have to take nothing no, like no, that no, no. No. so means rest of the credits you have to cover from your CVT curriculum Correct. apart from some of the ma- mandatory subjects that you should take. Now, just for an example, like for software engineering subject, you told, so you have some options, right? Like you said that six credit you have to complete. So in that you can choose, right? Any of the subjects. Yes. Okay. So like any of the subjects which you have guys have given till uh, now from the software ones, from that six credit bracket. You mean the electives, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The six credit that you should cover in computer science. There are a lot of subjects. For example, requirements engineering, product line engineering. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. We also have that. Yeah, power aware embedded systems. Mm-hmm. And we have some intelligent system subjects. Yeah, two D like image, image processing, three D computer, computer vision. vision. Ah, we have also that in some embedded of our intelli- embedded intelligence. Some are from robotics, like AMR, AMR. Yeah. fundamentals of robotics. Yeah. But from this entire computer science. Uh, hmm. I, I would say subjects in the computer science subject you have to cover six credits yes right? okay and if you want to take more you can take a shine and just for your to increase your knowledge yeah. yes got it and how many overall credits are there for to complete the CVT degree 120 120 and out of that now since we talked about the subjects right hmm. and apart from subjects what things are there like for us there is pro one project one seminar and a, a master thesis that we should complete by the uh, yes. as our last submission in semester three, you have to come do an internship mm-hmm. in German automotive industry. Okay. Mm-hmm. So it has 20 credits and it should tentatively begin in the third semester. Mm-hmm. But you can choose that you can start later. On. Yeah, it, later. On. But third semester, this is what they suggest. Mm-hmm. And after that, there is master thesis. So for that, you need 82 credits in order to register for the master thesis. 82? Yeah. Uh, so 82 credits is required to either to opt for a thesis, otherwise I can't opt. No. Uh, okay. And for project, a master thesis is 30 credits, right? Correct. Internship 20. Internship 20 credits? 20, yes. And that is mandatory as well? Mandatory. Yes, right? Mandatory internship. Wow. Because we don't have subjects in semester 3, so we have this internship mandatory internship which we have to do so in semester three means you're mo- sometimes the people only focus on the uh, internship part right so they don't have parallel subjects with it they can, they can have yes the thing is they can uh, opt for the subjects while they are doing their internship mm-hmm. but it's up to them because uh, it's about the time because they have to prepare for the exam then all the way come back to uni to write the exam so they sometimes don't get enough time to do that like as you mentioned like all the way come back mm-hmm. so it cannot be done remote or online no no, no not at all so you have to be off means you have to go somewhere and do the internships yes yeah internship yeah oh uh, okay it's on site on site on site yeah, yeah correct yes. and it's not necessary it will be in the same city no no not at all okay and like these many credits, you 20 credits you said, right? For internship. Yeah. And now for project and seminars, are there any uh, mandatory for project or seminars? No. 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 Mandatory. No mandatory. But you can opt, right? 
Yes, you can take. Yes, as shine. As shine. As shine. Ah, so project and similar you can take as shine. Shine. Yes. But not in curriculum. There no. is no project. No. Directly internship and then you once. No. You... There is only one subject. One subject. Yeah. One as an elective in electrical which we can take, mm -hmm. and it has a project too. And how much credit? What three. Is? Three credits. Ah, three credits. Like for us, it's eight credit project, but uh, that we have to take from our branch. Ah. Got it. So I think we get a general idea how the structure looks like because some of the like as you told first nine nine six six, then the subjects from the uh, CVT subjects you have to complete, right to reach eighty two, and then <laughs> internship. Internship is also included in eighty two. Yeah. 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 Yes. Internship is also included in eighty two, and after that you can take the master thesis and, ciao ciao. Ciao ciao. <laughs> ciao ciao. So. Uh, I think this is a general idea and uh, thank you so much for telling the details now I think we'll just quickly or maybe look at the website once yeah. so that we can see uh, we'll post the website link in the description so that you can go to the website and just check uh, the details that uh, they have conveyed mm -hmm. but we'll just quickly go through uh, the website or the uh, curriculum how does it look like so that uh, you get an idea and then then we'll talk so thank you Tejas for sharing the information. Now we'll look at the website. Tejas will say ciao ciao. Bye. <laughs> okay, so just type in TU Kaiserslautern CVT curriculum. After yeah. that, you you have to click the link. Mm -hmm. And below that, you can find out the module handbook, which has the detailed description of the subjects. Correct. And this is the uh, you know the module curriculum uh, page. Curriculum page. Um, which talks about the description of the more subjects. Correct. And now here we can see the module handbook, right? Yeah. So if you click on CVT twenty twenty two, so these are the sets of mandatory subjects. Yeah, like as you told, mechanical. Mechanical, like, computer com science. Yes. Electrical. Yeah. Hmm. These are the options. And options. Why? WIESE means uh, winter, winter semester. Winter semester. So the thing is here when they say WIESE, the uh, this the lectures for this particular subject is only offered in winter semester. Mm -hmm. There are some few subjects for which uh, the teaching is offered in both summer and winter semester. Mm -hmm. So that depends. Got it. So here we can just see the options of each of the blocks. Yeah. So here. It's mentioned like we have to complete the elective subjects from these three, these four sections. Yeah. So minimum six credits for mechanical, computer six credits, electrical nine, social science and business nine as well. Got it. And these are the links for uh, elective subjects for four different disciplines. Yeah. So if you select mechanical engineering, you can find different subjects. Hmm. Some subjects are offered in English, some are offered in German. You have to ah, okay. write those subjects in both English or German depending upon the uh, subject's rules. Hmm. Yeah. Likewise, this is for computer science. Yeah, we can see the computer science subjects we can opt for. Like you told, product line product requirement. requirements, engineering, product line, engineering. So this is an area of study for software engineering. Yeah, got it. This is for visualization and scientific computing, mm -hmm. intelligent systems, ML, mm. data science. Correct. Embedded intelligence. Mm. And similar, and if you go back once, uh, okay. This is for yeah. electrical and computer engineering. Yeah. So right. here you have. An option for again automation and control, electromobility, mm. Mm. Uh, control systems. Mm. Got it. And if you go back uh, once, then I think here, here also we have what is this course of study? Uh, yeah. So here, this was an older version. Okay. So you don't need to follow this. Mm -hmm. However, this is only for the students who are still following this uh, guideline. Correct. Got so, it. So, but right now, if someone new, some new students come mm. uh, to this course, they have to follow this okay. version. Got it. 
so likewise we can see all the subjects which are offered in this branch and we are again here right okay here it's written supplementary modules mandatory module so we're inside the cvt so this is a german language course yeah uh this is supplementary meaning it won't again count uh, to your credits mm -hmm. or your marks mm -hmm. or whatever grade mm -hmm. uh, it's totally up to student whether they have to write this exam got it however this there is a requirement whether if you have if you don't have a uh, a2 certificate mm -hmm. from kyotha or any other tel or any different equivalent gyotha or uh, german language institute mm -hmm. then you have to give this exam mm. you are in at the university got it you have to this this course is uh, not part of your curriculum mm. just for the uh, clearing this a2 requirement you have to give the exam this mm. doesn't count to your grade as well as the your credits got it so uh, likewise we have seen if you go again in this page like we have all the four branches and we can just mm -hmm. click on them and see their subjects correct right now for the four, where, where i can see the cvt subjects um these are the cvt subjects these which are mandatory so we don't have a choice you have to do this these ah are, okay yeah. got it so they're divided in modules yeah mm -hmm. and previously what you showed was so what you can choose it, yeah Ah. Those were the electives. These are the mandatory subjects. Got it. So that's the difference from yeah. the previous one and this one. Yeah. The Got it. Correct. Okay. And this mandatory subjects you have to take, like you told before as well. Yeah. Hmm. All of them. Okay. And so around nineteen to twenty subjects are there in the entire course. Okay. And apart from this, the internship and. Uh, apart from this, yes, the internship. Yeah. your which carries 20 credits yeah and finally the master thesis correct for which you need 82 credits hmm and which carries 30 cp or Got 30 it. credit points so, so in all it will become 20, 120 credits 120 credits from the cvt curriculum curriculum correct so soham has very uh, well explained mm -hmm. the cvt curriculum and uh, this is a detailed video i think uh, is the step by step the person who is doing cvt branch right from him telling the perspective is uh, good and it's important as well uh, to some extent for some people who are uh, taking the course like mm. for the first semester or maybe who want to know how the curriculum structure looks like yeah. so that's a very detailed uh, breakdown that they explain and there were many points or uh, that i was also introduced to like the difference in the curriculum from the computer science so they have discussed before uh, in the video only uh, in the detail how the curriculum looks like and you have seen in the website as well so i hope you get a information how uh, the curriculum structure mm -hmm. especially for cvt looks like and we can talk about uh, as these guys are uh, they just left so we said him ciao but so am is there we are in his room <laughs> so <laughs> i have to leave after this <laughs> so <laughs> so the thing is uh, as these are they, these guys are in their second semester so uh, we can also ask them about their experience like if you can share uh, not in this video in other video <laughs> and uh, like their experience so it might also be a bit informative mm -hmm. of the uh, because this is the summer semester and yeah. they, they already cleared winter semesters so i think it will be good and thank you so much soham yeah, for no, uh, uh, telling uh, these detailed videos at Uh, will surely to some extent will help some people and that's it for this vlog rest you know like comment share subscribe it doesn't take much time till then bye 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 ciao 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 namaste <laughs>